Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to what is probably more of a talk video than anything else and essentially I just wanted to cover my thoughts on the um, Microsoft buying Activision uh, because obviously a lot of people have been talking about this lately um, it is a pretty big thing especially when it comes to um, a lot of the Spyro, Spyro community that I've seen I just wanted to cover it myself because obviously in the past I have covered Spyro news and I think this is quite a big portion of news for me to cover now I'm not going to be showing any sources or anything it's just going to be me talking about my uh, views I'm going to be talking about random things that I've seen but uh, realistically I've seen them at just such random times that I wouldn't be able to hunt them down um, so anything that I do say I haven't fact checked so obviously do take it with a pinch of salt um, but I believe the majority of it is like uh, uh, is, is true information I'm not not trying to spread false information that's what I'm trying to say I'm, I'm trying to uh, be realistic be truthful um, from what I have seen, from what I've gathered evidence-wise, and as I said, I haven't got the sources because um, I've only really decided to do this video in the last few hours. So, yeah. So, if you didn't know, Microsoft have um, decided to buy Activision. Now, obviously, Activision has the IP for both Spyro and Crash, and they have been getting a lot of love lately. And there is a big, big, big um, thing where, obviously, Spyro... Um, has been had the Reignite trilogy. Crash has had its um, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, had the Insane trilogy, so its remaster, and it's also had Crash Four. Now that is really exciting for Crash, but Spyro also uh, has not had Spyro Four yet. So what we are ho hoping, I think, is that um, Activision, not Activision, Microsoft will honour. Kind of the idea that Spyro 4 needs to happen and there is a lot of people calling for Spyro 4 like there is a big um, support behind the idea for Spyro 4 and I think there are already ideas in motion that they must be because realistically you know Spyro and Crash go hand in hand together and it would make sense for them both to be um, popular. Now obviously Coming up, we think I think next year is the year of the dragon. Oh no, I think next year is um, 25 years since Spyro was made, and I think the year after is year of the dragon. So we've got plenty of time before it makes sense for a Spyro 4 to be released. So I think people are worrying for not necessarily needed because I think realistically, in a logical sense of things one or two years time is makes more sense at least logically to me it makes a lot more sense for that to happen at that point now i have seen and these have been kind of quotes that uh xbox seems to want to oh sorry microsoft uh wants to honor um honor the kind of um ways that activision was going so they said they and i, I saw this in a quote not 100 percent sure if this is true uh but they said they wanted to keep going with call of duty and also with skylanders so uh, obviously, Skylanders, we know, has not really existed for a few years. Obviously, the TV show came out, but um, game-wise, it's been gone for a few years. And, um, obviously, Spyro and Crash have both been characters in those games. So, I don't know if they were meaning to reference Spyro and Crash. Um, so, yeah, I think Spyro and Crash are going to be uh, two things that are going to be maintained. I think they are something that um, Microsoft are going to want to use because they are really, really popular and they've... Uh, I saw another quote, and I, again, I'm not 100% sure if this is true, uh, but I saw another quote that uh, there was a director of something that was saying uh, they wanted to feed into the nostalgic games. They wanted to be remaking and um, designing these nostalgic games, which is really, really awesome if that's true. You've also got... Um, wow, my, my face just lit up. Uh, you've also got uh, quite like the idea that a lot of people think that Microsoft are just going to put everything on Xbox because obviously Xbox is their, their console. But again, I've seen quotes that um, they still will be releasing games on PlayStation because, you know, Sony is a huge source for them as well. And realistically, that makes so much sense because if they just release it on Xbox, the vast majority of people do not have the money to be able to buy an Xbox when they've already got like a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. Um, they can't afford to get these new consoles but they can afford to get the new games so it makes sense for games that have traditionally been on playstation and um xbox to come out on playstation and xbox remaining like still uh which honestly 
I think people are worried about that for no reason. I think that it's a sensible move by Microsoft regardless to make that kind of decision um, in whatever it decides. Um, but I think definitely it will go for the PlayStation um, as well. I think it will, I don't think we'll have an exclusive Xbox series um, for all of these games. I think it will be both PlayStation and Xbox, probably Switch, and then probably PC, because obviously all four of those are huge, and they're going to obviously bring in a lot of revenue for Microsoft through kind of the Activision branding of all the IPs that it's brought out. So I think that there's nothing really to be worried about. I think, yes, Spyro 4 is going to be delayed. It's not really delayed because we haven't actually heard anything about it. But I think there is going to be a Spyro 4. I could see there being another Crash game. Uh, I could see there being a Crash and Spyro game somewhere along the lines. And also, I'd see, like, I've, I've thought of something really interesting. that The fact that we could potentially see... And I'm, this is going to sound a bit weird. The Crash and Spyro together, and also you've got Banjo-Kazooie. Now, the three of those are very nostalgic. They were around the same time. They uh, were all really, really popular, like, uh, platformers. And it's some of collect fonts. And I think that it would, it would make sense for all three of those to kind of be put into a same universe category that would allow for it to kind of develop into this, this giant kind of cross universe um, from nostalgic games. And then you could bring in other things uh, eventually. So things like Tyler Tasmanian Tiger, which was a little bit after the time. You could bring in, um, I don't know, Jersey Devil. <laughs> like That's another game that was kind of on PlayStation 1 that was a platformer. But yeah, you could bring in so many different aspects to this. And I think Microsoft are going to give it, give it its dues. I think... Microsoft will know what's going on and I think obviously Activision we have seen recently that there has been kind of a lot of um, drama I suppose would be the right word around that so I think this potentially could be a um, jump in the right direction obviously I can't say for sure I'm not a, I'm not a, like uh, I'm not psychic uh, so yeah obviously this is just kind of my thoughts and opinions on it I think that people don't need to be worried about things. I think realistically that uh, we're not going to see the issues that people are predicting. I think that Microsoft are going to be sensible from a uh, marketing standpoint. It makes sense to keep things on PlayStation as well, as I explained earlier. And yeah, I think the take home message is don't worry. Games might be a little bit delayed now because obviously there's going to be a changeover and um, whether there's going to be the access to the old media or whatnot, that could be delaying things. But as I said, with the Spyro game, I personally wasn't expecting anything till next year, the year after. Like, end of the year, typically November is when these kind of games release. So, end of 2023, end of 2024 will be the ones that I anticipate potentially when it comes. Uh, but that is kind of for Spyro. Crash, I have no idea. Crash is the more popular IP, even though I prefer Spyro. Crash is the more popular IP, so it makes sense uh, for Crash to get another game as well. But yeah, I think I am going to finish off this video. I know it's just been like kind of a, a talking video, and I've referenced a couple of things that I've I've kind of seen, but I haven't like paid proper attention to. I haven't saved them. Um, I haven't seen the, the proper proper sources or anything. Um, I've just seen kind of screenshots from sources and gaming articles and stuff. But yeah, I think don't worry everything will pan out, it will still be on PlayStation, it will still be accessible, and we'll still hopefully get these games. But yeah, that's going to be all for today, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What do you think is going to happen here? Do you think that people are just getting worried over nothing, or do you think that there actually is going to be something and that Spyro and Crash could be exclusive on Xbox? Obviously, uh, everyone's opinion is acceptable because it's just an opinion. Uh, I don't want to see people arguing down in the comment section being like, Oh, you're wrong. Do this, do this, 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 this. Like, debate is fine, but like, don't resort to like calling each other names because that's quite a silly thing to do. And I don't, I don't condone that on my channel. I don't accept that. It's not something that I want to happen. But yeah, if we're all, by all means, like, post your opinion. Um, debate with people down in the comments. Like, discuss why they think that opinion. What what's led them to that uh, that opinion. But don't be targeting them. But anyways, yeah, I'm getting out of it. So it was a good one, and I'll see you soon.